ones because we know enough to put our fingers in our ears, but they don't necessarily. We're underway. Bryce Anderson.
a 2000 vintage MX240 sheet metal on that one. Red line Beaver. As we bring the after hours, the top worth out front and center. Super stock diesel side. Here we come. to 94.8. Dave Lamar rolls up on 
the team gets things stuck up tight.
interesting thing about Allison. One of these engines turns clockwise, one of them turns counterclockwise. Here he comes. Tom Bollinger, the top gun driver out of Stonington, Illinois. To pull off for regional national modified. Run as far as you can, guys. I hope it's going to be far enough down the track tonight. Three of them to go. Modified, regional national. Ken Venny went 285 even.
that tractor when they were running full throttle. We proved to ourselves that we didn't work gain anything to have any exhaust out. It simply gets that exhaust out of everybody's road. Gardner Stone, Middlebury, Vermont, qualifying to number five. And look at it, he's got a list. There he goes. The two day four. Snyder went 270.4, 270.4. Bob Men waving both flags to get him 
stop down there. He saw something he did not like. Uh, underneath. Charlie Evans a little high in the air with the front end of that. I'm not sure what Bob was watching. Thank you. 
bounce back and forth, although he uh, he gets it handled and then, then brings it back under control real well. Buckeye Special Richard Peters is ready to go.
And I wasn't real sure at uh, 80 feet if he knew which way the track was. He started off the side and hangs on to it real well. Needs out there. Bowling Green, Ohio. Columbus. Some left to run. 2,000 pounds and roughly 2,000 horsepower. Yeah, that give you your horsepower to weight ratio pretty quick. Oh. 
Sky Special of Richard Peter. One left to run, and that is Mr. Thundermaker himself, please swim. You know the
see if he made uh, any improvements over what happened. It's hard to tell. There's a lot of things that could have happened right there. Not going to be tonight. Not going to be tonight. Now, what's the problem? We don't know. Um, we need a tow vehicle on two. 87 and 2. 287 laid down by Kevin Comras. Another Ohio native on board the Land Shark. Also a red one, too, if you'll recall. This may be a red green show tonight, but it'll be interesting to see how this all comes about as they work their way through a class of about 12 super stock diesel. This one's all business. Roger Hurley. Power coming up. Beautiful evening for competition tonight, and it is showing in the way these vehicles are running. You can see at 200 feet, it's starting to get a little rough on him, and it, it's tempting to stab one break. And he, he did a good job of figuring out what he needed to do to gain, maintain the control that he needed right there. And he got that job done. Roger Hurley doing it. A great run, and I believe we 
may have established a new record. I wouldn't be surprised. Jim Sandor, Radical Red. Land Shark currently holds it at two. Why we call it what we do, the wild ride on two wheels. They pick the front end up and take it down the track. Mark Wheeler holds the bare necessities out of Clarksville, Ohio. concerned pick the front end up set it back down a couple of times if you were going to do it a little differently you might want to lighten the blows just a little but not much because of the way this track is behaving tonight you don't want to make any over corrections that are going to cause a lot of problems on down the line mark peter takes it down the track and makes it look easy two more to run in the super stock competition Keith middleton and instant lean yes to cut and we still have the lady in the class to run in the mini rod yet. Keith Middleton is with Deer and Company. Hang on, here he comes. When he finally got a hold of the track, it was a whole different ball game, but I wasn't sure in 120 feet if he was ever going to hook up. Looked all right, but he did, did finally got a hold of it and running real good. Keith Middleton, Wilmington, Ohio, the Deer and Company driver. The engine did to it. Set it down, takes a 297 and 1. As in lane, this is your last one of the Super Stock Diesel class tonight. Out of Dayton, Minnesota, Esden Lane in the driver's seat. Port Recovery Man Boosters have the ice cream. Thanks, girls. Appreciate that. Ice cream and, oh, now when are you going to eat that? You going to eat that buckshot? If we leave that for Hartzell, I will. One that can do it as well. Jeff Demir, sort of like the smoke and the hot deer. Power coming up. Four-wheel drives will be up next on the hillside. The four-wheel drives, you can see them over there lining up at the present time. They'll be our next class to follow that class on the hillside and track. Power comes up. Here comes Jeff. Takes that smoking hot deer and puts it right in the middle of all that red iron that's been parked down there on the top end of this racetrack all the night long. We'll find out how he gets along. We're going to give away our 50 50 money here in just a little.
They reset the sled in four-wheel drive class. Peterson drop gonna come back last in the class. Went 298.6. He and his wife, uh, Jennifer, the two kids, and Michaela and Hannah, the daughters, they worked very hard at campaigning this truck. And this is where hard work has paid off. You know, That's it right. pays big dividends, and Tom Worth has earned that as he won the Enderly here tonight. That's right. 1995 Chevy, 642 cubic inches of naturally aspirated Chevrolet power. The after hours, Tom Worth! Nelson went to 76.0. Right off the line. 
came off a while a lot slower than I was expecting. Yeah. I, looked, I looked for it to come out a lot harder than that, and it didn't. It just didn't come out there. No, you can do that. That's your class. I was just going to talk to him a little bit. We're going to talk about He's got the mic right here. Mike O'Connor went 274.7. Yes, but I mean the cast, the cast. I said we're gonna have to find out. I need to ask. We can ask them because I know they, I know they, they always talk about you know the Ford Oval weighs a thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. And it looks good. And you know I happened to notice that when we were doing the four wheel drive class with Carol Suki, right? So yeah, we'll yeah. see what happens. Okay. Lord knows it's a machine job by Trey, totally geared in drive Trey sponsor machine. You know. Pullers get into this sport kind of weird once in a while. <laughs> His daughter <laughs> married a puller. Very yeah. simple. Oh, so here he is. Uh -oh. Not good. I can see it, can't you? Ah, uh, yeah, I can see the drive line kind of looping around in yeah. there. Yep. Came out of that transfer case. Ah, uh, yeah. Side of the transfer case. Look at this, look at this. Now you talk about rubbing salt in the wound. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourself down there waving that flag. <laughs> By the way, you know we ask about Lawrence Lyon with 148.8. Ohio, the Buckeye Shaker. Actually, Jim owns a trucking company down there. Spent several years uh, out of pulling. As I say, this year he's just hitting and missing. That's right. We're going to be going down in his neighborhood uh, coming up here in a couple, three weeks down to Peebles, Ohio. Just right. like that down there. Right in Jim's backyard. I didn't know if it's four wheel drive or not, but we'll be down there. Quite an event. Jim Boots, the Buckeye Shaker, has the green light and the green flag. 6,200 pound four wheel drive. Jim Moots from 301.7. There's another little storyline here. They were involved in mud and sand drags. Got a little bored? I've never seen any. I've never seen any of the sand drags. Mud drags I've been acquainted with. I've never seen the sand drags. Well, I understand, it, especially up in Michigan. They go out on the Julia yeah, Hodges race. Gross went 292.6. And does a good job of wheeling the four-wheel drive. Absolutely, absolutely right. We'll talk about here in just a few minutes uh, what LD is going through right now. Debbie Smashing, the next race. Sebastian had a full pull. Uh, I tell you what, if he's traveling with Mr. Peterson, and I think he is, this old uh, man could be in for a real treat. Yep, that's right. Eye opening experience. Saw this and run once before. And yeah, he's not running. Yep. Mark Mangan and the Z Bag. That's 
what those drive line loops are for. Yep. That's what holds everything in place. And he had a nice run going. Oh, he did, too. It's that drive shaft, so it doesn't take off across. How many times? Mark Mangan with 183.1. Oh, okay, you're right. I'm going to borrow your glass. That's right. Calls it frustration. You bet. Dave Fossum with 300.7. Look for big things out here. Chris Colbert, Oxford, Ohio, the menace truck. This is probably the smallest motor four-wheel drive out here, 514 cubic inches. We'll see what he has to do. Put the power to the ground is what it's all about. Chris Cole went 280.7. Some of the different motors that it rocks and uh, moving air. That's what it's all about. That's right. That's right. you got to be able to blow that air through it to be able to develop the power that you need. Uh, Rob, an electrical engineer by trade. Home equipment and Pioneer Plaza and Coors uh, sponsoring the truck. Sticking with 290.2.
to fly over the 300-foot track. Bob Ben and Scott Doty out there are the flag judges tonight. And that flag, the Hog Modified Four-Wheeler. Yeah, Chapin yeah, we went 278.7. Uh, throttle leak, he's going to be really something stupid. I really thought we had two motors go down the way it nosed over so bad, but uh, it's just one motor. We got such a gear in it, it won't pull it. One motor goes down, she, she just really noses over. Well, and that's what Alan and I were talking about. You guys are set up for that six engine gear, and it just doesn't run good on five. So we kind of thought so. It sounded like it went flat. Randy Petro, multi chaos. Mike Mankey out of Arlington, Wisconsin, the Polish farmer. Not a bad run for Mike. He, now, you notice he was over on the other side of the track. I was just going to bring up. He actually started to pick that, that right hand side of that track. A little tell on him. The products, total gear, drive train, CRV machine, and many high flow injectors, as well as profile. You know. So, when you're looking for high performance, think about these people. Our contingency sponsor. Went 298.6. Thanks to Scott Doty and Bob Ben for being uh, flagged for tonight uh, all the way around. Tim Thomas has been in the seat of uh, the Patriot. What, Hager just kind of watching tonight? Yeah, exactly. right. He's, He's getting ready to go up to minor days. He's probably there. there. with 293.1. Debbie Sebastian went 290.9. That's why he's not coming back tomorrow and he's going to send Greg back. <laughs> Save the best for last. You betcha. You betcha. The 
Thanks to Tim Thomas, our sled operator, Bon Bauer tonight uh, on board. Uh, Scott Doty, Bob Finn, Larry Rich Ryan, making sure things are more or less trying to happen. Yeah, some semblance of an order. We're not sure what that order is yet, but no, don't ask. No. Set the sled in the unlimited class and he dropped to the bottom of the class. Well, we talked about it. There was a potential. You heard something when he relayed left right. the track. 
LD Nation went 174.8.
Yeah, he did. Very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Got into the tire bouncer. That's not a good situation. And that might have been the dirt that he was throwing up in the air could have caused that service. That's, that's, service right. that's exactly right. But that's unusual for the tire bouncer. It's just not the same as the mini rod. No, it just isn't there. Martin Stone went 273.5. Richardson went 195.6. Third one, which way do you turn it? Oh, yeah. Got no clue. <laughs> I don't even know what we're going to find out. 